Hey everyone, this is my second attempt at this intro to this video. Yesterday did not, not yesterday. The other day I filmed one and the video did not work out. Here's a little clip from that. So while researching all these side steps, I found out that these bolt holes that are already put in here are supposedly a eight millimeter bolt by 1.25 by 40 millimeters long. I don't know if that's actual, actually true or not. So I was trying to, to put those parts on the side steps and the bolts do not fit. I still wanted to put the video out, but I did not want to break up the side steps into two videos. I just didn't think that was worth two videos. So I'm gonna film that side step video later today. So another day when I can get the actual bolts. I do not want to put that project off anymore, but it. I want to make sure you guys had an upload this week and not waiting three or four more days until I can actually get the bolts because it's going to be busy this weekend for me. Today we're going to Monster Jam with my son. We got our monster trucks trying to pick them out. Which one he's going to bring, and uh, we're excited about that. So I'm going to try to get something uploaded for you today before I get going, and so you guys have something this week to look at. I uh, didn't want to do a back-to-back -back Jeep video, but that's what you're going to get. So if you haven't seen everything yet about the Jeep, or you're not caught up on the Jeep, check out the playlist. I'm going to link above and get you caught up. Some are more exciting than the others, but a couple things that needed to be added and fixed on the Jeeps. If you have any questions, make sure you uh, type it in the description or the comments below. I uh, hope you enjoy. I'm going to go ahead and try to put on this new boot shifter bezel. bezel. I still don't know how to say it, but um, I'm going to replace this thing real quick. I'm going to throw you on a little hyperlapse, time-lapse video thing here. It shouldn't be that hard. Like I thought, it wasn't that hard. The, the hardest part was knowing which way it oriented. So once I figured out that I was putting it on backwards, it snapped right in. So not too bad. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty sturdy. You don't realize how aggravating these things are when they're loose and they're like flopping around when you're trying to shift and everything. So. Not bad, I'm happy to get that fixed. That was a $7 fix. Hopefully I don't break it again. If you don't remember me saying it or if you haven't seen the video before, um, I broke I broke the bezel right here by this bolt when I was replacing my carpet or adding the carpet. I took the console off and I actually broke the plastic ring that snaps inside there. I'll um, link in the description below where I got that piece if you're looking to replace yours or anything, uh, if you have one that's broken. I'm gonna try to put on the wiring harness for the trailer lights right now. It doesn't seem that difficult and I don't have the right bolts right now for the side steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with the next project. So here's the wiring harness I'm gonna put on there. This is, uh, after doing a little bit of research, this is what, I seems, what seems to be what I need, this Kurt brand. Doesn't seem too difficult. It's a, a four pin connector. All this is like a little plug and play type thing. Not too difficult. We'll uh, see how hard it is when I get going. So. so right now we're underneath the driver's side rear tail light. There's this um, little plastic clip here that has to pop out and then we can access um, everything underneath there.
I don't know if you know this, but there was this vice grip wrench type thing um, shoved way up inside of my brake light hole area. It's kind of strange. I don't know why it's there. I took it off. It doesn't look like it was pinching this point right here. It was pinching. There's a piece of metal in, inside that runs along here. There is a small, there's a small like crack in the paint right here. I don't know if I should put it back on or not. It doesn't seem to be moving at all. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if this was here before or not. It doesn't seem to be moving at all. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. That's kind of aggravating. It's pretty strange. I don't know. I mean, I'm putting put some good pressure on that and it's not budging. So I don't know if they forgot about it or not. I don't know, it's, just, it's kind of strange. I keep moving on. The next step you want to do is drill a 332nd hole, like a pilot hole for the self-tapping screw to hold on the ground wire. I'm going to probably place it right here on the frame to kind of clear of everything. I probably need to scrape away some of this paint that's been on it so it gets a good connection. What I'm going to do is use this wire brush to kind of clean up the area. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is once I seat it, seat the screw on there, I'm going to do a light coat of paint on top of it just to keep it from rusting on the outside. I think it will all be fine once it's seated and everything. That looks good. I'm just going to go through here now and zip tie everything to the bumper area so it doesn't kind of flop around or nothing. So. I will say overall that a uh, fairly easy project for wiring. I've done a lot harder projects than that. So this kit is pretty good, this little Kurt wiring harness. I'll link that in the description below. But it's um, it's pretty cool. It's uh, definitely a plug and play kind of thing. I didn't think I had a, any problem putting this on. The only problems I had were kind of from the Jeep. The uh, passenger side taillight had that tape thing foam tape wrapped around the the kit there the um the actual plug for the light so that was kind of weird it took me a while to get that off and find the button to get it to release it was kind of gunked up but and then the other kind of concerning thing is that vice grip pliers kind of pinching my sheet metal inside i don't know i'll definitely keep an eye on that i don't think it's going to be an issue i'm hoping it's just it's kind of left in there for some reason 
through another project. Maybe a grounds for some type of thing, but kind of weird. Um, it's probably been there for a long time. They were definitely rusted out, kind of old. So yeah, um, I don't have uh, my trailer hooked up right now to, to test it out or anything like that, but um, I think it will work. I don't think I, I don't suspect any issues, but it probably will be because I'm I'm working on it. So we'll uh, we'll check this out another time when I get as soon as I get the trailer hooked up, I'll test it out for you guys and put on another video. But um, if you haven't seen any other other of my Jeep videos, um, I'm creating a playlist inside my channel there. Um, I'll link a card up here so you guys can go back and watch kind of what I had. When I first started, um, I had my first Jeep walk around video. I have my carpet install video on there. I removed my pastor door panel to get that door open. Um, I'm going to have this, all this stuff on it. The, the frame just got fixed on the driver's side. I'm trying to think of the other things that I've done, but um, go ahead and watch all those. If you like working on Jeeps, if you have a question about something I've already done, let me know. Hit me up. Um, I have my email linked in the description below, and uh, send a, send me a comment. Say, tell me what you think. If I messed, if I did something wrong, let me know. I, I like hearing uh, the advice from people. I am not above. Um, I'm not too proud to hear hear some instructions from you guys for for real. So, uh, you guys have better ways of doing things. You let me know. I'll change it up. So I, uh, I like hearing from my viewers and my subscribers. Um, it's fun uh, engaging with you guys in the comment section below. So keep up the comments, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it, guys. I'm going to try to find those bolts for the uh, side steps here soon. Mm -hmm.